So this is after I came back from the Indian place, the Navajo area. Jody, I got long hair this. again. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. A little sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. Yeah. I can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's Aiden? Oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least Aiden likes him. I was worried. I'd be looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. <sighs> Have they made any progress on the infraworld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser. The most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. You're working with the army? Oh, Nathan had no choice, really. It's funding. On the condition of exploring possible military applications. <laughs> Go figure. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. Well, that's good. <laughs> she looks so nice with long hair. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <laughs> On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. Nora? What else did you learn about her? Not much. All I know is that she took part in a DPA research program some 20 years back. She also had a gift. And the father? Did you learn anything about him? His name was Jonathan Nichols. Are these Jody's heart parents? Heart failure. That's all I could find. Hmm. Where is Nora now? She's dead, huh? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital. Oh, so they declared her insane? According to her file, she should still be there now. in a mental hospital. I'm sorry, Jody. So she's trying to track down her real parents. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She could use her powers technically to do that. She's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Look. You've taken a huge risk. Yeah. You're my brother, man. Thank you, Thank you so much. You're always helping me out and always being nice to me. I'll miss you, big guy. So, she, he said that she had a stillborn, hey. but yet here Jody is. So maybe Aiden's a soul of her stillborn you sibling? You go alone, did you? Oh. <laughs> Is he going to help me get in? I don't like it, Jody. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. Definitely too quiet. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait. It's all right. We'll keep him safe. 
Aiden likes him too, remember? Wow, he's really in a hurry. He just left without me. Can't you... You never walk with any, like, urgency at all, Jody. <laughs> it just drives me so freaking crazy. Ooh, that's a nice plant. Try the polite approach. Gets them every time. Hey, um, I've come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Uh, evade. Maybe we can go without authorization this time. I mean, maybe we can just come to some kind of an arrangement. I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Uh, please talk to me again, please. Seventh floor, room forty-three. So far, so good. <laughs> Never seen me use it like that. Well, I used it on him technically, so maybe he does know. What now? I don't find a way to open that door. That's what I thought, but I thought if I spilled the water... Security. Yes, hello. Has no idea. There must be something. There must be something for what? Oh, he's too far away. Oh, the camera. Hmm. I can't get in the door? Sleeping on the job. There we go. 
You just leave that there for me. Thank you, sir. And I'll kindly get the hell out the way. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, bud. Grab the card. Now we have access to everything. What room was it? 47 or something? Uh, Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? 43. 44. Forty-five, so it's on the other side. Watch out for the cameras. Cole, found it. I'll wait here. Okay. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Doesn't mean I don't want to see her. Go nope, going in. Even if she's crazy, I still might be able to get some confirmation or something. Mom, it's me. Judy. She kind of looks like her. Your daughter. Wonder why she lost her mind. Help me, Aiden. Okay. Take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. Oh, that's my baby! Bring her back! I've changed my mind! I want my baby! It's a danger, quick! Get the baby out of here! Please, please, let me see her! Oh, my God! Please, let me see her! She may develop some special abilities. Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. So, the adoptive parents knew about it? Make sure she never regains consciousness. <sighs> Sorry. Can she take the IV out? <laughs> I'm sorry. Won't she regain consciousness if you stop the dosage? <laughs> No, don't leave yet. What I did. What are you trying to show me? Whoa. Aiden? Destroy this thing, Aiden. Destroy it now. What the hell is that covering her? Oh, my little girl. My little girl. They look so much alike. Oh, she can't grab her. I 
was so afraid I would never see you again. I've missed you so much, Jody. I've missed you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. How do you know that? How do you know we can't fix this and save you? I love you. More you gotta than at least try. Nothing will ever change that. So she had like telekinesis or something, or did she have a spirit with her? Like I have ah! Iden. Back in that shit again. <laughs> Dude, take the IV out. <laughs> what? There's really nothing I can do? That's some booty. <laughs> so they just keep her in here sedated all the time? Wait. Go back over there. Jody's crying. Her spirit's there. <laughs> wow. She got to meet her mom for all of like five seconds. Some bullshit. Everything that happens to Jody is so tragic. Like her whole life is tragic. Aiden? <laughs> what is happening? Whose epic office is this? Like, look at the statues and shit. I wanna go look at the statue. And all its magnificence. Ooh. That one guy. The doctor guy that was like my surrogate dad, kinda. Isn't this his office? Because it had the picture of two girls. Like, his wife and daughter that died. Maybe. Hmm. What the fuck is this place? Oh no. They're gonna open it up and the fucking world's gonna be destroyed because they're they won't stop. It's exactly like what happened the last time. The most powerful condenser of your creativity. Impressive, isn't it? <laughs> it's stupid is Josh, what it is. It's good to see you. I have a feeling he's not I'm good. I'm so afraid something happened to you. 
lost weight. You look exhausted. No shit. Let's go into my office. Looks like your job has changed. You're in a suit instead of a doctor's uniform. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. Oh, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. I just didn't want to give you a chance to use item. Uh... What happened to my mother, Nathan? Did you know Mom about the whole thing? Was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance, look. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Okay, Cole. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. Okay, well that's good. Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? That's true. So I'm trying to be sensitive, I, I get after that. You, loved you. Tried to protect you as best as I could. Hmm. Till the CIA got a hold of me. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Be angry. You're asking me to help the people who wanted to kill me? Is that what you're asking me, Nathan? Listen, Jody. Why should I listen to you? You work for them. And you lied to me about my mother and my parents. And for what? The money or the power or the fame? Oh, stop that, Jody. You know that's not true. I know nothing anymore. We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. That is true. He's got a point. Everyone would die. You and this percent of players have taken these paths. Didn't ask about Dawkins. Distracted the guard with the electrical panel. Learned your father's name. Didn't explore the cells with Aiden. Took the medallion. Oh. You could explore the other cells? I was just, I was like, oh. There's mental patients in there. I don't want to disturb them. You know, I don't want to be rude or nothing like that. <laughs> well, anyway. That's just... I don't know. I thought it might be kind of rude. <laughs> and when it says I didn't ask about Dawkins... Oh. When I was talking to him in the beginning, uh, I I would have take I would have asked all the questions if I could. I ended Nora's suffering. It was seemed like the the right thing to do.